they found him in the paint and he knocks it down and it's a two to nothing lead for them. Two nothing lead. Far North Florida. Mostella in the paint to Hunter. Turnaround shot, Marlin got position inside. Inside the free throw line, he put it up from about 12 and drained it and we're tied to a piece. Not quite 90 seconds into the basketball game. Up top, and they are Rosen now back to Horkler. To the corner left side, Sams is open. Three point try, back iron and long, no good. Hudson the rebound, here comes Ty. Good pass ahead to Marlin, lays it up and in. Terrific bounce pass, seeing the floor was Hudson, got the assist. 4-2, Jacksonville State running and leading here for the first time in the game. Up top with it, Gande Arosa, right side to Aminu. They leave him alone. He'll put up the three and bury it. So they've now hit a three-pointer in 973,000 straight games. YG Aminu knocks it down. And they lead 5-4 over Jacksonville State. So three lead changes in the early going already. In the paint, Marlowe's got it. Moves toward the basket, but gets cut off outside to Mostella. Deep for a shot fake. He'll drive inside to Christian. Trying to reverse up and under, and they block it, I think. Missed everything. And Sam's out of there with it. Got it ahead to Gandhi Rosa, the point guard. A dribble and a drive. Going to spin, kick it out to Horkler. Top of the key, three ball. Got it. They lead 8-4. to four. They've hit back-to-back triples. They lead by six here. 8-4, North Florida in front here for the Ospreys. The lead, back-to-back triples for them. They've hit a three-pointer. Inside with a layup. Was that JB? Remember yesterday, a tough, tough day for him. They've hit now in 666 consecutive games with a three-pointer. They drive, got it inside. The Horkler and foul from behind by Hudson. Defense had to stop the dribble drive. And a foul called on Hudson for the reach. And that'll be his first and the team's first. 8-6, Ospreys by four. Excuse me, by two and a chance to get it by four as Horkler is at the line to shoot two. Horkler, three out of seven from the free throw line in the early going for them. Free throw in the air, short, front iron, no good. It's been his freshman year at East Florida State College in the JUCO ranks and then transferred in last year to join them. The Melbourne native, the newcomer of the year in the Atlantic Sun last year and was second team all conference. Preseason defensive player of the year coming into the season in the A-Sun. He hits the second of the two free throws. They lead by a triple here, 9-6, 1-3-1. court pressure defense, or a half court defense for them. Hudson to the corner. Mostella drives off the dribble shot, off the iron, wouldn't go down. Bounced around a couple of times on the rim and came off, no good. And the foul whistled against Garrett Sams as he got him as he was in the act of shooting. His first, team's first. So a 9-6 game, Jacksonville State down three and Mostella to the line. Eight out of nine from the free throw line on the year is Dietrich Mostella. Make it nine of 10. Nine, seven, two point Osprey lead here. And a second shot will be coming for the transfer from the University of Tennessee. He hit them both a four star recruit when he was coming out of high school. He prepped his first three years at Austin Decatur, then transferred to high school in Indiana, went to Notre Dame prep, and then to Knoxville, the Volunteers. They throw it over the top of the press, got it ahead to Aminu. Back outside, they're going to Rosa up top. Sams, he's open three ball. Back iron out of there. They tip it outside. Horkler over the top, tipped it back. Here comes Hunter with it. Gives to Christian Cunningham. Back out to Burnell. He'll give to Hudson. He'll set the half-court attack. Ray Harper play instructions from the bench across the way for Jacksonville State. Hudson dribbles left. Cunningham sets him a ball screen. He'll give it instead near side to Hunter. Back to Ty. In the high post area to Burnell, baseline to Cunningham, out to Ty, he's open the three in the air, around and off, no good. Cunningham the rebound, and he got fouled by Aminu. A second shot for Jacksonville State now as Christian got the offensive board and drew the foul. First foul, Aminu, second team foul, whistled against the Ospreys. And to bring it in from the baseline, it'll be Ty Hudson for Jacksonville State. One point, not a game, Hudson inbounds, Marlin got it, up rises with a jumper and knocks it down. Hunter's got two buckets for Jacksonville State's 10. One point, Jacksonville State lead. Well, our third lead change already. Gondea drives, got into the lane, kicks it back outside to Aminu. He will drive, spin, got Christian in the air, hook it up, no good. Rebound, Burnell, good box out to get the board. Outlets to Hudson, tie in a hurry, middle of the floor, going to dribble it down. Stop, got around Gondea, put up a shot, no good. Cunningham, offensive rebound and put back. Jacksonville State by three, 12-9. Gamecocks lead it. In the midst of an 8-1 run here to lead by three is Jacksonville State. 
Sams to the right side. He'll go to Gondea Rosa. Yvonne Gondea Rosa splits a double team, got it to Aminu. He's going to spin, throw a turnaround one-hander, and got it. Burnell had good D there. He just made the shot, spun around, got a little separation, and put it down. 12-11, Jacksonville State by one. Hudson signals a play call as he crosses the timeline. He'll go to Marlin. Hunter missed Burnell on the baseline. Upset with himself on that miss. Gives to Hudson back outside to Marlowe. Baseline to JB. Reverses to Ty. Nice shot fake. Looks. Skip pass across the floor to Mostella. Baseline to Burdell. He'll back it in. Dump to the corner. Ty with a man running at him. Three ball. Got it. Knocked it down. Gondea Rosa running at him, and he drained the triple. Did Ty Hudson. Jacksonville State by four. 15-11 at the 14-50 mark of the first half. Outside with it, it is Aminu to the corner. Sam's open, look for three, bricked that one, no good. Rebound Hunter. Hunter grabbed it as it went toward the corner off the floor. He'll kick it ahead to the corner on this side. Hudson, three ball, got another one to tie. Jacksonville State by seven, 18-11, 14-32 to play in a half. Still waiting for that first time out of the game here. We've gone a long while, five and a half minutes because we just keep playing. Outside with it on the drive, that's Balagoon, his shot no good. Rebound long, Karam knocked away from Sams. It went to Horkler to the corner. Balagoon for three. He's got it. They cut it back to four at 18 to 14. Excuse me, that's Escobar. I'm sorry, that's JT Escobar. First time he's put up shots today. JT Escobar, the red shirt junior, began his career at Ole Miss. He's a Tallahassee native. He hit the triple for them. JT Escobar cuts it to an 18 14 game. Hudson in the paint, got it to Burnell, muscles it in, banked it up and got the bounce on the iron against Aminu and banked it home. Second hoop, Burnell, he just used muscle there to bank it in. 20 to 14, Jacksonville State by six, 13-40 to play in a half. Both teams, heavy substitutions coming here. Escobar a dribble and a drive, dumps to the corner, Sam's gonna drive, goes baseline, they close the door on him. His outlet side pass, knocked away, but Aminu saves it, dumps it to the corner, Escobar another open three down there, no good. And we got a foul and a push off on somebody in a blue uniform is the call. And let's see, it's gonna be on Horkler with a foul call for a push off. That'll be their third team foul in this half, first foul on Horkler of North Florida. And with 13.24 to go, we finally get the 16 and under timeout here. Jacksonville stayed by six. It's been a good one so far. Gamecocks 20, North Florida 14. Timeout. This is a Gamecock Sports Network. Field North Florida, 5 of 12 from the field so far. And the rebounds, Gamecocks have outboarded them 8 to 3. Marlon Hunter, three rebounds. Burnell and Christian Cunningham each with two, and Christian both of his with the offensive glass. And the Gamecocks with a 20 to 14 lead. They trail once by four and built as much as a seven point lead. Maurice Dunlap's in the game for the first time. The saw, uh, excuse me, the senior out of Greenwood, Mississippi. Dunlap, 6'2, 175. Derek St. Hilaire, 5'11, 180, sophomore out of Decula. Georgia, that is, and Jamal Gregory's out there as well. They got it down low to Burnell. Those three new guys in there with Cunningham and Burnell in the post. And Chris uh, Burnell, I should say, got it in the paint, turned with the left hand, went up and knocked it down in a game. Cox lead by eight, their biggest lead at 22 to 14. Ryan Burkhart in the game for the Ospreys has got it across the way to Trip Day. The Columbus Georgia native controls it. Now to Yvonne Gondea. Rosa, he's out front, head of the circle with Dunlap on him. Some separation, he'll shoot a three. Short off the front iron. They try to save it in, but cannot. Now I can say that Ezekiel Balagoon is in the game. The junior, a native of Lagos, Lagos, Nigeria, out there for the first time. So they've got 
Balagoon, 6'6", 235 junior, a transfer from East Florida State College, began his career at the Citadel. He's on the floor, Ryan Burkhart, 6'4", 180, sophomore out of St. Augustine. And then Trip Day, 6'7", 223, sophomore from Columbus, Georgia. They're out there along with Garrett Sams and Yvonne Gandea Rosa. Down low, Cunningham's got it. Steps between the double team, but he traveled, had to, took an extra step to do so. Thought he got tripped up there. Car uh, Chad Shepard, Freddie Williams, and Michael Griffith are our officials. We had Mr. Williams and Mr. Griffith, I think, in the game yesterday for Jacksonville State. 22-14, Gamecocks by eight. So each team with three substitutions so far in the contest. Gondea Rosa working behind the screen out high. Dumps it down low. Day going to back it in on Cunningham. Couldn't get off a shot outside to Gondea Rosa. Now they play a little screen and roll. Day rolled off of it. Got to the basket and put it up and in. And it's 22 to 16. Maurice Dunlap did not react, I don't think, on the defensive end there. And Ray Harper not too happy. 22-16, six-point game. 11.45 to play. First half of action here. Championship game. Cancun Challenge at the Hard Rock Hotel. Derek St. Hilaire to Cunningham, top of the key. Down low, got it into Burnell. They doubled him for a moment, got an elbow in his back. Will turn, put it up, no good, but he got fouled. He shoots two when we come back after a timeout here. Trip Day, the foul, that'll be his first and their fourth team foul. Gamecocks working it inside, down low to Cunningham and Burnell, and Burnell has made a count so far in the game. Jason, three of three from the field with six points and a couple of rebounds already for Jacksonville State. He'll shoot two when we come back. 11.33 to play first half. 22-16, Jacksonville State by six on a Gamecock Sports Network. Toward the free throw line, two shots coming for the Jacksonville State senior. Began his career at Georgia Southern University. Then after his freshman year, transferred to St. Petersburg uh, College down in Florida. And then the DeLand, Florida native, transferred to Jacksonville State. And JB at the line. A two-shot opportunity. Burnell on the year, an 85% free throw shooter coming into today's game. 17 of 20. Make him 18 out of 21. He's got seven points. He's a leading scorer. He's got seven, Hudson's got six, Hunter's got six for Jacksonville State. Horkler's got six for the Ospreys. Jacksonville State by a seven, 23-16. Second shot, Burnell, got them both. And it's 24-16. They've made another substitution. Carter Hedrickson, 6'7", 201 pound freshman out of Lexington, Kentucky from Lexington Christian Academy is in the game for the first time. So he's out there with Balagoon, Day, and who else is on the floor? Burkhart and Gondea Rosa. Foul, Jacksonville State. Dunlap with a foul. Maurice draws the foul as he tried to come through a screen. That'll be his first, second team foul, Jacksonville State. They inbounded baseline on the offensive end, right side. It'll be Gondea Rosa and he inbounded for them. He looks, looks, got inbound the corner to Burkhart and a Bad pass. Christian Reddit got the steal before falling out of bounds. Gave it to Dunlap ahead to Gregory, who lost the handle on it. Day's got it near half court. He'll feed Hendrickson up the right side to Burkhart. Back outside to Hendrickson. Now we'll go to Gandea Rosa. He'll dribble in around the perimeter on the right side, front of the Jacksonville State bench. Picks up the dribble, to, gives to Balagoon, top of the key. Couple of dribbles. He'll pitch to Burkhart behind the screen. Came free, a drill to triple. And it's 24 to 19, and within five. Burkhart just two out of eight at the three-point line coming in, but knocked that one down. And the guys on the bench, I could see him, my peripheral vision coming up off the bench as he got the ball and launched the shot. 
Cutting to the basket, Burnell. Oh, nice move. Gliding around, missed the shot. No good. Rebound. Cunningham kept it alive. Got a piece of it. It went off Balagoon's knee and out of bounds. Jacksonville State will keep possession here. Trip Day will leave. Balagoon will leave. Horkler and Aminu back in for them. Substitution, Jacksonville State. Here comes the 6'11", 250-pound freshman from Slovakia. Myros Zelisnak checks in. Christian Cunningham checks out of the Jacksonville State lineup. First break of the day for Christian. Dunlap to inbound. Got it in to Derek St. Hilaire. St. Hilaire backs it out near half court to Gregory. One dribble. Jamal now to the right side to Dunlap. To Burnell out on the perimeter. Aminu guards him. He'll dribble once. Pitch to Derek St. Hilaire. He'll go to the corner off the dribble. The shot around and out of there. No good. Weak side rebound on that other side of the rim. Went to Gandea Rosa to Horkler. Left side to Hendrickson. He's open three. Got it. Just like that. They've cut it to two at 24 to 22. Back-to-back -back triples, and they've cut it to two at 24-22. Marlon Hunter, Dietrich Mostella, Ty Hudson up off the bench for Jacksonville State. Gregory drives to the basket, shot up, no good. Rebound tipped up by Zelly Snack, but it was Gandea Rosa who came down with the basketball. They can tie it up, or the way they shoot threes, take the lead. They have eight field goals in the first half, five of them three-pointers. Knocked away from behind of Gandea Rosa. They'll keep possession at side court. Mostella, Hunter, and Edward uh, Hudson back in, I should say. Dunlap's out. St. Hilaire is out. And Jamal Gregory out of the game as well for Jacksonville State. Burnell on the floor. And Zelly Snack remains on the floor for Jacksonville State. 24-22, two-point game. Hendrickson gets a handoff. Dribbles right side against Mostella. Dumps it in to Aminu. Backs it in on Zelly Snack. Going to bank it up. No good. Mostella the rebound. Dietrich the board, middle of the floor, weaves his way left, dumps it deep in the left corner in front of their bench across the way to Hunter. Bounce pass outside to Mostella, up top Burnell, right side to Hudson. They stay in the zone in the half court. My Hudson rolls left, pitches it back to his right to Burnell, back outside to Hunter, open 14-footer, got it. Marlin drains it. 26-22, Jacksonville stayed by a four. They'll end the Gamecock dry spell. Into the game for North Florida, Brian Coffey out of Snellville, Georgia. 6'1", 175 pound sophomore guard from Shiloh High School over there. In the game for the first time. As Gandhi Arosa gets a rest. Horkla with it up top, skill pass to the corner. Hendrickson to catch, quick release for three, no good. Rebound battle for Burnell, kept it alive and controlled it right there at the baseline, right on the inline. He held on to it for Jacksonville State. Hudson brings it ahead. The junior out of Pebblebrook High School drive, stops. Got him leaning in, and now what do we got? Three second count on Zelly Snack, Jacksonville State. Three-second violation in a turnover against the Gamecocks at the 8.35 mark of the half. Escobar will check in. Burkhart will check in for them. JT Escobar returns. Burkhart, who played well off the bench, will sit down. Horkler, Coffey, Aminu, Hendrickson, and Escobar. Hudson, Hunter, Mostella, Burnell, Zelly Snack for Jacksonville State. They go down low to Horkler against J.B., He's trying to bang it inside, goes around and got in the paint. Little hop step there, got away with it. He'll feed coffee, starts right, comes out behind the arc, goes to the corner to Escobar. Escobar threw it away, bad pass over Horkler's hair. Hudson the steal, 2-0-2, tie down with the right hand, put it up, no good. Marlin the rebound and follow, won't go. Rebound knocked outside. Escobar's got it and a foul, Hudson banged into him. That'll be Ty's first, third team pal of the half. Jacksonville State, and that'll stop play at the eight minute mark. Of this opening 20 minutes of action here. Championship game of the Mayan Division. Cancun Challenge from the Hard Rock Hotel in Cancun, 26-22. Jacksonville State leads by four on the Gamecock Sports Network.
Through Jacksonville State by a four as we welcome you back to the Hard Rock Hotel Hotel Convention, Hard Rock Hotel Convention Center here in Cancun, Jacksonville State. A 26-22 advantage, Mike Paris, Gamecock basketball. We get back to football Saturday. Opening round, FCS playoffs, Jacksonville State hosting the Buccaneers of East Tennessee State. Tickets available online at jsugamecocksports.com. Get your tickets in advance. Remember, you can buy them cheaper online and in advance than if you wait to buy them at the gate for Saturday night's kickoff. 6.30 kick time. We're on the air with you at 5.30 on our Gamecock Sports Network. They got it across the timeline, although Sam's bobbled it a couple of times. Coffee controls, top of the key. Mostella's guarding him. He'll drive around him. And on the running floater, put it down. Off the dribble, just floated it in there with a soft shot, 26-24. Ty Hudson had to leave the game. He's got two fouls. That last foul on him was his second, not his first. Cunningham back in for Jacksonville State. Feeds Mostella. He'll drive, lob it up. Christian thought he was going to shoot it, wasn't ready for the pass. Off his hands, turnover Gamecocks. Horkler controls, brought it ahead, right side to Sams. Sams goes baseline, back outside to Horkler. Down low to Aminu, guarded by Cunningham. Trying to turn and hook it up, he does, and banked it in, and we're tied at 26. Tie game at 26. Gamecocks have led by as many as eight, and they've led by four, as many as four here. So they've come back from a 24-16 deficit with a 10-2 run to tie it. Maurice Dunlap back in the game. Drives, goes baseline, beat Coffey, and went right at Horkler. Took it in there and banked it up and in. Jacksonville State by a deuce, 28-26. 6.40 to play in a half. Dunlap in in place of Hudson. Hunter still out there. Burnell, Cunningham, and Mostella. Up top, Aminu for three, got it. Wajid Aminu, that'll give him 10 in the first half. He's hit a couple of threes, and it's 29-28. Osprey by a one here. 6.20 to play before the half. He's the leading scorer in the game. Burnell inside, got it to Christian against a smaller guy, out to Dunlap, right side to Mostella, three-second count, Jacksonville State, turnover Gamecocks, second three-second call of the game. Here comes Jamal Gregory back in the game for Jacksonville State, Cunningham will come out. Coffey, Aminu, Escobar, Horkler, and Sams. They're five on the floor. Outside, Coffey looking, looking, looking. To the corner, he'll go to Sams. Sams out on the wing. Down low for Horkler. They double up on him in there. He'll walk through the paint. Give it to Coffey. Lost the handle on the way up. Dunlap with the ball ahead. He'll get it to Mostella. Took it to the basket and tried to get around Sams and did, but left it too strong off the window, and here they come the other way. Sams at the free throw line and a foul on Mostella. That'll be the fourth foul against Jacksonville State here in the first half. And Dietrich Mostella has picked up his first personal foul. Derek St. Hilaire back in. Mostella is out. Here comes Trip Day to the floor for them. And Aminu will check out. Aminu is four of six from the field and two out of two at the three-point line. Ten points to lead everybody. Burnell and Hunter each with eight for Jacksonville State. Marlins got four rebounds. He's the game's leading rebounder is Hunter. One point, Osprey lead. They inbounded side court next to the Jacksonville State bench. Sams got it in to Trip Day, back outside to Sams. A little arm and an elbow and banging in on Hunter. Leans in, that's an offensive foul. What do we got? Yes, he got a shoulder. Marlin might act in just a bit as well, but Sams got lowered the shoulder into him. Marlin really getting in his grill. And a charging foul called. Second foul on Garrett Sams and their fifth team foul. 29, 28, five and a half minutes to play first half. Hendrickson, who saw a stint earlier in the half, Carter Hendrickson up off the bench to check in for them. Dunlap, bounce pass near side to St. Hilaire. They tried to trap him. He got out of the trap, backs it out near half court to Dunlap. Quickly left side to Marlin. He'll shoot a three. Back iron, too strong, no good. Horkler to the long carom, got the rebound. Horkler to Sams, here they come. Sams down low to trip day against the smaller Dunlap. Tried to feed Corkler, uh, Horkler cutting through. Too strong, Coffey saved it in the corner, ran down the pass for them right in front of the Jacksonville State bench. Day outside, knocked away, Burnell's got it. He'll feed Gregory, inside to Maurice, put it up and a foul called, and if it's on Sams, that's his third foul. Maurice will get to the line to shoot two here. And the foul is on Garrett Sams, that'll be his third. Dunlap will shoot two with 4.53 to play first half. Third foul on Dunlap, or excuse me, third foul on Sams. 
Dunlap shoots two. Maurice free throw, got it. Ties the game at 29 here. Yvonne Gandea Rosa back in for them. He's in, coffee's out, and Carter Hendrickson will replace Sams with the three fouls. Second shot, Dunlap, got them both. 30-29, 4.53 to go in a half. Jacksonville State back on top by one. We've had three ties and I think five lead changes so far. Oh, Hendrickson almost struck the pivot foot there. No whistle, he got rid of it to Gondea Rosa. Jacksonville State going zone for the first time. They go to Escobar in the corner and he drained it for three. They lead 32-30 with four and a half minutes to play first half. 32, 34 and a half to play before the break. Marlin with it near side. Going to skip it up top to Derek St. Hilaire. The Decula Georgia native drives, goes to the corner, Dunlap. He'll find Burnell, mid-range area. And he threw it away in the corner to Jason Burnell. Dunlap had moved from the corner out on the wing. He thought he was going to stay in the corner. He didn't even look, just threw it that way and threw it to one of their guys in his white. Was the last basket a two or a three? Oh, they're checking to see if the foul was on Garrett Sams or if it was on Trip Day previously. Day wasn't even on the floor at that time. 32-30, 4.05 to go in the half. They lead by a two. It's been a terrific basketball game back and forth so far. Escobar, nice fake, gives it off to Horkler. He got a good drive inside of the basket. He banked it up and in. And Ray Harper wanting a timeout here with 3.53 to go in a half. Uh, Ray Harper, the official, I think he had told him he wanted a timeout. And Harper ran him down and now they're still having a conversation in front of the Jacksonville State bench over there. 34-30, it's a timeout, Jacksonville State. Now it'll become the media, I think. It's a full, it'll become a full timeout. That's what I was waiting to see here before we took a break. 34-30, 3.53 to go in half. That timeout charge to Jacksonville State. The Ospreys a bit of a run here to take the lead from the Gamecocks late in the half. North Florida, 34, Jacksonville State, 30. Timeout on the Gamecock Sports Network. Jamal Gregory, Maurice Dunlap, Marlon Hunter, Derek St. Hilaire for the Gamecocks. They have Yvonne Gandea Rosa, Carter Hendrickson, Trip Day. Wajid Aminu is back in, and JT Escobar, they're five. One, three, one zone in the half court. Employed defensively by the Ospreys. They're going to trap out of it. The pass deflected. It was kicked out of bounds, intended for Gregory. 34-30. Three ties, six lead changes so far in the game. They've led by as many as four, and this lead right now matches their biggest lead. Jacksonville State's led by eight at 24-16 the last time. Cunningham getting a rest right now. Ty Hudson on the bench with two fouls. Mostella sitting down right now as well. Double high screen up for St. Hilaire. Gives it off to Gregory, bobbled it, got it back, saved it at side court. A dribble and a drive, Jamal down the lane, put it up, no good. Burnell trying to get to it, knocked away. Escobar, the loose ball at the free throw line. 
Races the other way with it. Numbers weren't there. Went out to side. Uh, went out to the three-point line, then worked it inside to Trip Day, who went to the left hand with a little baby hook and stuck it home. And they lead 36-30 here, their biggest lead of the first half. They're up six over Jacksonville State, 3-10 to play in a half. Hunter near side with it, drives, baseline, jumper in and out, no good. It was in the hole and popped out of there, no good. Three minutes to go in a half, six-point game. Gondea Rosa outside to Aminu to the corner to Escobar. A catch and a three ball, got it. He drains another one and it's 39-30, they lead it. Jacksonville State scoreless over the last two minutes, just one of their last seven. They made seven of their last eight field goals. Escobar's got nine in the game now for them, all of them on triples. Hunter. Up top to St. Hilaire, drives in the lane, forces up a shot, no good. Burnell follow up, no good. He got another try and they wipe it off. They don't stay with it. They say a foul before the shot. And the foul is whistled against Wajid Aminu. It'll be his second foul. That's their seventh foul. So Burnell the line, shoot one and one. Derek St. Hilaire is out. Christian Cunningham back in for Jacksonville State. Final 226 of the half here. So Cunningham in, St. Hilaire out for Jacksonville State. And Aminu had to leave for them. And Horkel back in for North Florida. Burnell at the line, free throw in the air, got it, does JB. So he's three of three from the line. He has nine points, four boards, two assists right now. They are eight of 16 at the three-point line, 15 out of 21 from the field overall. Second shot, too strong, no good. Rebound tipped outside, and they get the loose ball again. Escobar controls another loose one. Eight-point game, they lead 39-31, 2 15 to play first half. Gondea Rosa's pass up high, stolen Gregory, and he will ram it home as he got three to the offensive end. 39-33, 2 10 to play in a half. Jamal's first points off the bench today. He had 15 yesterday. He read the pass, knocked it away, and ran it down. Hendrickson in the corner, drives in the paint, dishes it back, baseline today, trying to back it down now on Christian. Spin goes to the left hand, Cunningham blocked the shot, and now a foul called against Trib Day, reaching around Burnell. He had a shot blocked by Cunningham, his eighth block of the year for Christian, and then he fouled, trying to get it back. Second foul, Trib Day, their eighth foul of the half. And he will sit down, and Aminu, who's got two fouls, comes right back in the game for them. So Wajid Aminu checks in. Sam's on the bench with three. Day sits down with two, and Aminu, who's got two back in there. Ty Hudson, right now the only Gamecock in trouble. He's on the bench with two. Burnell, free throw, too strong. Spun around and came out, no good. He's missed two in a row now as JB. So the Gamecocks, free throw shooting. Seven of nine now. They had made their first seven in a row at Jacksonville State. Gondea Rosa cross court pass stolen again. Dunlap the steal. The run out and an easy two for Mo. Timeout for Matt Driscoll. And he is not happy with Yvonne Gondea Rosa. He tried to come across the floor with a pass and an easy steal there for Maurice Dunlap. Ran it down, an easy two for the Jacksonville State senior. And Maurice has got six points off the bench for Jacksonville State, a couple of buckets, and two free throws, and now three steals in the first half for Mo. And those three steals for him, a new career high in this first half for Maurice Dunlap. And a timeout for the Ospreys. They had an eight-point lead. Now it's down to four, 39-35. One thirty-three to play first half here. I need to give Christian a credit for that block down there earlier I just noticed a couple of trips previous. So he's still at seven blocks on the air. Gregory deflects a pass in the backcourt. Gondea Rosa is going to have to hurry to get in across, and he's had his pocket pick. Jamal Gregory. Stole it, went up with a shot, drew a foul. He was going to jam it, and he got fouled as he went up, and he'll shoot two. And the fouls on Carter Hendrickson, his first, their ninth of the half, and two shots coming. 
Two shots for Jamal Gregory. Made the first, 39-36. Coffee checks in. Gandea Rosa, who has turned it over three straight possessions, sits down for them. 39-36, 80 seconds to play in the half. Second shot, Gregory got them both to Jamal, so he scored four of the last six for Jacksonville State. He's got a couple of steals off the bench along with those four points. 39-37, Jacksonville State pressure trying to bother him here. Hendrickson near the timeline, feeds Coffey, got it across, pass to Amino, cross-court lob to Hendrickson outside Escobar. A minute five to go in the half, 15 on the shot clock. Escobar goes right up top to Horkler. Didn't shoot it, didn't give it up to Hendrickson and almost drug the pivot foot there, but kept it. Got it to Coffey, right side in the corner to Escobar, three, and he drained it. Jamal Gregory did not get a hand up in his face, and he drilled it. He's got 12 in the first half. He is the game's leading scorer as Escobar. All of his field goals have been triples. 42-37, they lead by five, 40 seconds in the half. Hunter looking, couldn't get it down low to Cunningham. Backs it out to Dunlap around the perimeter to Burnell. To Gregory, left side. Jamal going to dribble and drive. Had it knocked away. Burnell, the loose basketball. Shot clock at five. Burnell trying to throw, and it's out of bounds. Off a bad pass, threw it over Hunter's head. Out of bounds. So they can play for the final shot of the half with 22 and a half seconds to play before intermission here. They lead by five and a chance to add to it here. 42-37. Well, both teams getting after it here in this first half. Bunch is pretty talented. Escobar, long feet ahead to Horkler down there. He feeds it inside off the hands of Hendrickson. Ball on the floor going to the backcourt. And it'll maintain their possession. Ten to play in the first half. Escobar to Coffey out front to Horkler. He wanted to hand to Hendrickson, couldn't. Down low to Amino, trying to back and shoot a short, short, no good. Rebound Cunningham. And that'll bring it an end to the first half of play here. They got the hook from Aminu on the final possession of the half. And the shot was short, so they couldn't connect on that final possession. They lead by five. 42-37, North Florida by five here at intermission over Jacksonville State in the championship game of the Mayan Division. Cancun Challenge at the Hard Rock Hotel. We'll run down all the particulars from the first 20 minutes of this one. We return right after a timeout on the Gamecock Sports Network.
second half. Jackson will stay with the basketball. Hudson ahead. Tie back in the game. He'll give it right side to Mostella. Down low to Burnell. Cutting to the basket. His floater in the air. Got it down to Burnell. JB in double figures with 11. He cuts it to three in a hurry here at 42-39. They come down. Horkler, top of the key. Launched a quick three. No good. Cunningham kept him from getting the rebound. Tipped it to Hudson. Tie down. He'll feed Marlin to the basket. Banked it up. Oh, an offensive foul called on Marlin Hunter as he went to the basket. Marlowe call for the charging foul. That'll be his first, first team foul of the half against Jacksonville State. I'm not sure Ray Harper totally agreed with that call, so it's still a three-point game. Garrett Sams, three fouls back in there for them to start the second half, along with Yvonne Gandea Rosa, JT Escobar, Wajid Aminu, and Jacksonville State a steal from Stams in half court. Hunter the steal, runs down from half court, beats Gandea Rosa to the basket, and lays it in, and Jacksonville State's cut it to one. 42-41. And Noah Horkler, by the way, the other guy on the floor for them. Dietrich Mostel, another steal. Yes, Hunter. Pass knocked away by Hudson. Hunter controls it. Tipped it ahead to tie to Burnell. Trying to go right side to Mostel. Pass deflected, so they'll sit a half court, I think. Dietrich drives, stops, kicks it out to Hudson. Shot fake. He'll drive. Got kick. No whistle. Jumper free throw line. Got it. And the game Cox six in a row out of the break. And they've cut the lead, or taken the lead, I should say. 43-42, a 6-0 run out of the break. Gabe Cox forcing two straight turnovers uh, with the pressure defense. Marlon Hunter, Dietrich Mostella, Ty Hudson, Christian Cunningham, and Jason Burnell for Jacksonville State. A foul up top. Who's it on? If it's on Mostella, or Hud, it's the third on Ty Hudson. Third foul on Ty Hudson here. A minute and 25 seconds into the second half, he picks up number three. Two team fouls already on Jacksonville State in the first 85 seconds of the half. Gandea Rosa looking inbound from the baseline, looking, looking, looking. Burnell knocked it away. Ball is free and out of bounds, and they say it belongs to North Florida. Ray Harper can't believe it. He is staring at the two officials sitting over there on the, the two observe it over there. One of those guys I think he knows pretty well, just giving him a hard time with what he was doing. In the corner right side, it's Escobar controlling it, dribbles it out, don't let him get separation because he drained four threes in the first half. They get it around to Gandea Rosa. Around the ball screen, he comes out high with it. Burnell, a hand in his face, he'll launch the three, no good. Cunningham, Skies got the rebound. Christian to Hudson, quickly ahead. Mostella, dribble, shot, three ball, won't go. Cunningham trying to get the board, Aminu rips it down. Here they go the other way. At half court, Gandea Rosa. He'll bring it to the right side to Sams. He'll shoot a three and knock it down. And they lead 45-43. Their first points two minutes into the second half of play. Ray Harper play instructions in the half court. They go man-to-man. -man. They've come out of the zone, it looks like, here to start the second half. They played a 1-3-1 a lot of the first half. Mostella to the right side to Hudson. Bobbled it momentarily. Ty looking. Gum dumps it in to Cunningham. Horkler took it away. Basketball out of bounds, back to Jacksonville State as they lost control of it then. Hudson battling in the corner, kept it alive, and the Gamecocks will get it back with 30 on the shot clock. Let's see now. I think they may talk about was it a change of possession or not. It's what's going to be the discussion here. And let's see if they can go back to where it was. So they'll have to go with that. I think is what they're going to do at 28 seconds instead of 30. Or can they go back to the video and look at it here? Looks like they'll leave it at 28. Nope, 17. 17. So they took it from 28 to 30, back to 28. Now it's at 17. They said there was not a change of possession. So Hudson in the corner next to the Gamecock bench. Inbounds to Burnell. They look. Do they double him? Nope. He's going to back it in, back it in, scoop it up with the left hand. It's short, no good. He got it back. This time he'll put it up around and off the iron, no good. Cunningham and company, what do we got? Jump ball call, but it'll be North Florida's basketball. On the jump ball, the North Florida gets the basketball here. Cunningham and Burnell reaching in and tied them up. Osprey will have it against full court pressure defense from Jacksonville State. I think Matt Driscoll wants a timeout here if they can get it across the timeline. Aminu's at half court. Hudson's guarding him right now. 
45-43, two-point game. Sams inbounds, Aminu came up, got it, the pass right next to the bench. Back to Sams, back to Wajid Aminu, back to Sams in the backcourt. Throws it ahead, finds Gandea Rosa up the left side in front of their bench. Outside to Sams, three ball, that's short, no good. Rebound, Hudson almost lost it, got it, brings it ahead. Numbers weren't there, so he'll wait on his mates to catch up and set it in a half court. Ospreys by two, 17 minutes to play. Championship game of the Mayan division of the Ken Coon Challenge. Penn State and Bradley in the Riviera division later on tonight here. Mostel, a cross-court pass deflected, saved by Hunter, shot no good, but Horkler fouled him as he went up for the shot, and it'll be two shots coming here. Foul is on Horkler. That'll be their first foul in this half. Second personal foul on Noah Horkler, the 6'8 junior post player for them. And at the line, Marlon Hunter shoots two for Jacksonville State. Marlon just one out of four for the year at the free throw line, make it two out of five. Jamal Gregory checks in, Dietrich Mostella out of there. And I just found out through Chris Brown that Dietrich Mostella and Josh Pearson played basketball together at Decatur High School, Austin High School in Decatur, I should say in their prep day. Second shot in and out for Hunter, no good. So they still lead by one to the Ospreys. One out of two at the line for Marlin. Jacksonville State now 10 of 13 from the line today. Gandea Rosa skips to the corner to Sams, dumps it down low to Horkler, Bunnell on him, back to the basket, trying to spin, goes baseline, dribbled it off his foot out of bounds. It'll go to Jacksonville State on the Ospreys turnover. Ospreys turnover gives them 11 for the afternoon. 45-44, 16 and a half minutes to play in a basketball game. Hudson to Burnell, back to the basket at the high post. Couple of dribbles, looks outside to Jamal Gregory. Gregory dumps it right back down to Burnell, back to the bucket, try to get in the paint, spins right, goes left and back to the right, banked it, yes, and one. Nice move, Burnell. Right, then to the left toward the paint, went uh, right back to the right side and banked it up and in. And a Gamecocks lead it, Horkler gets his Third foul of the day, and that'll be their second team foul. And Burnell, a chance to get the Gamecocks a two-point lead here. It's 46-45. JB now with 13 to lead the Gamecocks. Free throw, it's good for the big guy. Burnell, four of six in the line, 13 points, six boards to assist. Yesterday might have been the most horrendous day he's had on the offensive end in his two years at Jacksonville State. This time they attack and beat the press. Escobar got it down. Did not launch the triple, hands it off to Sams. They run Escobar around the floor to the corner. Sams goes baseline left side. What do we got? Offensive foul on Garrett Sams. That'll be his fourth. Sams hooked. Yes, he hooked, trying to turn the corner there and maybe pushed a little bit. An official standing right there got him. That'll be his fourth foul, and that should be their fourth team foul of the half as well. 15-59 to play in the basketball game. It is Jacksonville State. By two and with the ball, 47-45. The Gamecocks lead it. This is the Gamecocks Sports Network. Walks it across the timeline as we're back to action. Hunter, Hudson, Burnell, Cunningham, and Gregory for Jacksonville State. 
Ty looks down low to Burnell, left side of the floor, backs it in, skips it up top. Ty dead on look three, short off the front iron, no good. Aminu, the rebound for them. Aminu, Aminu Gandea Rosa, Horkler, now Ryan Burkhardt out there in place of Sams and Escobar. Sams on the bench, four fouls. Left side with it, Gandea Rosa to the corner to Burkhart. He'll drive, kick it up top. Horkler's got a good look for three. That's off the back iron and long, no good. And a foul fits on Hudson, that's his fourth. It's on Ty Hudson, that'll be his fourth foul with 15-22 remaining in the game. Now he's got to sit down for Jacksonville State. This is Gamecock basketball on the home of Jacksonville State Sports. 91.9 FM, WLJS FM, Jacksonville. Each team with three team fouls in this second half, and Hudson's drawn two for Jacksonville State. He's got to sit down with four. Maurice Dunlap in to replace him. They inbound it out high to Escobar. Bobbled it, but got it back before Hunter could reach and get it. He dribbles, comes behind the screen to the right side, looks, dumps it down low, bad pass. Didn't get it near day. Turnover, Gregory. The steal, and look at him go. Dumps it right side, Hunter from 12. In and out, no good. Cunningham, offensive rebound. Put it up, no good, but he got fouled. And two shots coming for the senior from Albuquerque. He is closing in on becoming the all-time leading rebounder in the Division I era of the Jacksonville State program. He is the all-time shot block leader in Jacksonville State history. And Cunningham, the rebound and the putback wouldn't go. He'll shoot two here, Will Christian. He looks for his third and fourth points of the day. It's the first one, Gamecocks by three. He has five rebounds on the day, does Cunningham. 48-45, Gamecocks by three, but a long way to go here. 15.06 remains. Second shot, short and off the side of the rim, no good. Jacksonville State now three of five from the free throw line here in the second half of play. Escobar going to drive, go around the free throw line, kick it outside to Burkhardt, guarded by Gregory. Now to Gandea Rosa Cunningham steps out on him. Gandea Rosa now with Burnell gardening, going to drive, run through the lane and flip it up and around and off the mark, no good. Trip Day was on the back of Burnell, no whistle there. Jason controls the board, got it to Dunlap, back to JB, down low to Cunningham, going to spin, go inside with the left hand, laid it up and in. Nice drop step with a move there in the left hand, Cunningham. Second field goal of the afternoon is five points, matches five rebounds on the day. Jacksonville State by five with 14.20 to play. Up top, Day. Dead on look for three, short, no good. They back tap the rebound. Day's got it, going to drive, got inside, got fouled. He'll shoot two. He got Hunt, uh, Cunningham in the air with a head fake and went right into him and drew the personal foul on Christian. That'll be his second of the contest. Correction, first foul. First foul on Cunningham. Fourth Jacksonville State team foul. They've been whistled by our four, four here so far in the second half. At the line, trip day for two here. Young man who went to Glenwood Academy in Phoenix City, Alabama. I think Chase Silvani, former baseball player. That's where he played at his prep days for Jacksonville State before he came to Jacksonville State. Day out of Columbus, Georgia. Hits the first free throw. He's 9 of 11 on the year for the free, uh, from the free throw line. Derek St. Hilaire checks in. Marlon Hunter gets a rest for Jacksonville State. Yvonne Gondea Rosa leaves for them. Brian Coffey's in for his first 10 of the second half. And they missed the second shot. Day shot short and flat, no good. Cunningham, rebound number six of the day for Christian Cunningham. Burnell's got seven to lead Jacksonville State. Christian right there with him as he rebounded the miss. They go back to the 1-3-1 zone in the half court. Dunlap finds Gregory, free throw line. He'll back and spin, get it inside to Cunningham down the baseline, reverse layup, count it. Christian has scored five in a row. Jacksonville State by six with 13.45 to play. It's 52-46. Coffee against pressure, finds Aminu, middle of the floor. He'll drive, come down, went around, uh, avoided a charge from uh, going into Burnell, but missed the shot, but Day got inside position and tipped it in. 52-48, four-point game now. Jacksonville State by four. Dunlap to St. Hilaire, back to Maurice. Mo finds Gregory, middle of the floor, stops, floater in the lane, got it from about five, six, seven feet right in the middle of the paint. His first bucket of the second half, he's got six. They come in a hurry, Escobar for three, got it. Wow, he got it right here in front of us, drained another one, I mean, he caught it, bounced it, and didn't just, no conscious, just lifted up off the dribble and drained it. He's got five buckets, all of them threes, 54-51. St. Hilaire to Dunlap, to the corner to Cunningham. Christian 
against the zone, finds Gregory. Left side to St. Hilaire. Nice move, drives, stops, pops. In and out, no good. Rebounded by J.T. Escobar. The Tallahassee native who started his career at Ole Miss comes ahead with it. He'll come right side, kick it out today. He's open the three. Off the mark, no good. Gregory, the rebound, Jacksonville State. Jamal claimed the board. Here he comes with it. He'll kick into high gear, going to drive, go baseline, try to feed Cunningham off his foot, went right to Burnell who caught it and stuck it in the basket. 56-51, Burnell now with 16 in the game for Jacksonville State. Game cocked by five, 12 15 to go, championship game of the Cancun Challenge. Day a shot fake, didn't take the shot, ball knocked away, and now foul on Gregory reaching in from the weak side. That'll be team foul number five on Jacksonville State in this half. Gregory picks up his first personal foul. For the first time today, we see Jakara Cross off the Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville State bench. The 6'8", 250-pound junior checks in, Cunningham out of there. Washita Minu leaves for them, and Horkler is back in. Coffee and Burkhart, they come to the corner. Escobar, a catch and a release. Does this guy ever miss? He drains another one, 56-54. Two-point game with 12 minutes to go. We get a 12 and under timeout at the next dead ball. Escobar's got 18. He's six of eight, all of them three-pointers. Burnell in the corner for three. Got it, knocked it down. Jacksonville State by five, 59-54. JB's got 19 after hitting the triple there. Coffee drives, defense in him. He'll swing it up top today. Shot no good. Jakara Cross ran into him. Foul on Jakara will be his first, and they'll get three free throws when we come back with 11.33 to play in the game. 59-54, Jacksonville State leads it by five. The 12 and under officials timeout happens right now on the Gamecock Sports Network. And it'll be trip day. He was fouled by Jakara Cross when he put up that three-pointer prior to the timeout. Day one out of two from the line today. First free throw, it's got it. 59-55, Jacksonville State by four. Trip day off the bench, has eight points for them. He's two out of three from the line. He is two out of five, from, or excuse me, two out of four from the line. Maybe he'll be two out of five after this miss, hopefully. 59-55, 11.33 to go. They have Escobar, Burkhart, Horkler, Coffee, and Day. And he missed it again, but the rebound tipped outside, and Horkler's got it right at half court. Oh, he double dribbled. Did he double dribble? Wow, no call. They'll go down inside today. Went around Cunningham. Shot won't go, but he got fouled. He'll shoot two. Two shots coming again for Day. He is two of five at the free throw line. Boy, I thought Horkler double dribbled there at side court, or right at half court. The second shot, Day after making the first, missed the second, then he missed the third. It tipped way out to half court. Horkler came up with the ball, so they kept it alive, and now they shoot two more free throws with Day. They are three of seven from the line. In today's game, Jacksonville State 12 out of 16. Day's free throw, it's good for the young man from Columbus, Georgia, 59-56.
Day, Escobar, Burkhart, Horkler and Coffey versus Gregory, Hunter, Dunlap, Burnell, and Cunningham for Jacksonville State. And now Hendrickson will check in for them. He's out there for the first time in this half. Carter Hendrickson checks in, freshman out of Lexington, a 6'7 guy. He's in, and Day's out. They've cut it to two, 59-57, 11-20 remains in the contest. Championship game of the Cancun Challenge. Gregory out high with it. Down low in the paint to Burnell. Goes left, kicks it to Hunter on the left baseline. Can't get it back to JB. Outside to Gregory, out near half court. Gregory, a drive. Jamal stops, looks to JB. Top of the key, he'll shoot the three. Back iron, too strong, no good. It kicked out to Horkler right at the free throw line. Horkler to Coffey, and the guard will bring it ahead. His dad played at Tennessee State, by the way. They'll feed Hendrickson, three ball won't go. Cunningham tipped from Horkler, and it went right to Gregory on the rebound. Jamal going to push it. He'll drive the runner, baked it in. I think we will count the basket. Let's see, what do we got here? Scored the basket, says the official. Count it, and a free throw opportunity and a chance at a three-point play, the old-timey way here for Gregory. Derek St. Hilaire checks in. Maurice Dunlap will check out for Jacksonville State. The foul for them was whistled against Hendrickson, his second, their fifth of the half. Jacksonville State at seven team fouls now. Game Cox by four. Gregory free throw. Got it. Jamal makes it a five point Jacksonville State game again at 62 57. Gregory off the bench, 15 yesterday. He's got nine in this one for the Game Cox and three steals. Coffee up top, outside. To Hendrickson, backdoor cut, wasn't there for Escobar. He'll come around, can't hand it off to him. Now they'll dump it to Horkler, comes out, faces the basket out in mid-range area, knocks down the 16-footer. JB right there with him, but he drained it, 62-59. Horkler's in double figures for them. He's got 10 along with Aminu's 10. Day's got 10 off the bench. Escobar leads him with 18, all on three-point baskets. Six of eight at the three-point line is Escobar. Up top, Gregory three ball, top of the key, spotted up, drained it. Jacksonville State by six, 65-59. Gregory in double figures with 12. Burnell's got 19, Gregory 12, Hunter 11 for Jacksonville State. Coffee drives, his floater blocked. They battled for it, he came back with it. Burnell blocked it, they got it back outside. Escobar finally missed, shot no good. Rebound, Jamal Gregory. Look at him turn on the Jets and go. He'll drive, go to the corner to Derek St. Hilaire. Backs it out, Burnell, left side, Marlin, open 15. In and out, no good. Rebound, Gregory battles for it, kept it alive. And what do we got? Timeout, Jacksonville State. Timeout, Gamecocks. Gregory, great hustle, just desire. Took away the rebound, came down on the floor and he kept it from going out of bounds. And it'll be Jacksonville State's basketball after the timeout here. Official, or excuse me, a team timeout, and that first one of the second half becomes a media timeout. 9.32 to play. Oh, a good one here in Cancun. 65-59, Jacksonville State by six. This is a Gamecock Sports Network. of 16 from the field in this half of the day. Now 21 of 44 at 47.7. Gamecocks in the second half, 11 of 19, right at 58% from the floor in the second half for the afternoon, 24 of 46, 52%. Jacksonville State's out-rebounded them, 27-23 so far in the game. They forced 13 turnovers, have the Gamecocks. After the timeout, inbounds pass was deflected. Burnell's got it, though, right near half court. He'll give to Dunlap. Maurice back in the game for Jacksonville State. Double high post set for him up top. Gives it left side to Hunter on the pass. Marlin looks, can't get it down low. Backs it out to Gregory. Shot clock at 15. 
to the right side to Maurice. Baseline to Burnell, gets free, feeds Cunningham, down the lane for the two-handed flush. 67-59, Jacksonville State by eight after the Cunningham dunk. He's got seven in the half, nine in the game for the senior from Albuquerque. Up top, coffee right side to Sams with the four fouls. Garrett Sams, the Tennessee native, back in. They'll feed Horkler. Backs it in, backs it in, lost the handle, got away with an extra step and count the basket. The official says he bobbled the ball, but nobody for Jacksonville State touched it. Missed one there, 67-61 with 8.40 to go. He just lost the handle of the ball. Six-point game, Dunlap just across half court. They've come out of the zone, looks like they're man-to-man. Again, that double high set for Maurice. He'll go right corner to Gregory. Jamal in front of the Gamecock bench. Got a ball screen, steps back behind it, off the dribble, the three ball won't go. Burnell, offensive rebound, and put it right back up and in for Jacksonville State. And the Gamecocks back to the lead here at 69-61 with 8-10 to play in a game. Eight-point Jacksonville State lead, matching their biggest to the contest. Down low, Hendrickson's got it. He'll spin, got underneath. Cunningham just stuffed it out of bounds, blocked the shot, knocked it away out of bounds. Jacksonville State basketball. Or excuse me, I'm sorry, North Florida basketball. And now we got the eight and under timeout. Is that right? Yes. Cunningham got his first official block of the day. They reset the shot clock. And I think they're going to go check it during the timeout here. 7.58 to go. Jacksonville State has matched its biggest lead of the day of eight points at 69-61. We're back with more of the Cancun Challenge here from the Hard Rock Hotel after a timeout on the Gamecock Sports Network. Leading Jacksonville State right now. 22 is career high. He's got 21, eight rebounds, four assists, and a block shot in this game for Jacksonville State. Jamal Gregory, 12 points, four rebounds, three steals. And then Marlon Hunter with 11. For them, JT Escobar, six of nine now at the three-point line, 18 points. Noah Horkler's got 12. Wajid Aminu at 10 at the, in the first half has not scored so far in the second half. The trip days matched his 10 points as well. Following the timeout, they'll put it in play. Baseline on the right side. Yvonne Gandea Rosa inbounds outside. Got it to Sams. Gregory, I guess, got him in the ear or something. He's going to step back off the dribble. Shot the three short. Rebound tipped up and outside. They'll battle for it. Horkler out of there with it. Going to bring it down. His pass deflected, but it got to the corner to Gandea Rosa. Inside to Aminu. He'll rise up off the, dri- or off the pass and turn. And with a baby hook, put it down. 69-63. They have let them play for the most part so far these two days of the tournament. Gamecocks, double high post set. Burnell to the baseline, finds Marlin, 15-footer, drained it, knocked it down right side. 71-63, Jacksonville State by eight with 7.20 to go. Hunter's got 13 now. Up top, it's Yvonne. Gondea Rosa dribbles through the free throw line. Can't find anybody to dish to. Keeps the dribble going. Now he's out beyond the top of the uh, circle. Got it down low to Horkler. Horkler going to turn, shoot a fadeaway shot off the mark. No good. Cunningham, his seventh board of the day for the senior. Cunningham the rebound. He'll bring it across the timeline for Jacksonville State. He'll hand to Burnell, who gives it outside. Now to Maurice Dunlap, who looks for play instructions from Ray Harper. 6.50 to go. Maurice comes around the double high screen out front. 
He'll leave it on the left wing with Gregory. He wants a ball screen. Fakes right, goes left, comes back to the right behind the ball screen. Kicks it right side, done left. Shot clock at six, at five, at four. Down low to Burnell. Jason spins to the basket, puts it up off the front rim, no good. Cunningham, offensive rebound, put it up, no good. Battle for the rebound. Hunter trying to save it in, but he threw it out of bounds to Ray Harper on the other side of the floor. He did his best to keep it alive. Good hustle, but it went out of bounds across the way. Cunningham couldn't follow it up on the miss by Burnell. His shot wouldn't go, and then the battle for the rebound, it hit the floor before Hunter tried to save it in. Eight-point game with 6.20 left. Now they come with a double high post set. Aminu's got it back to the basket up top. Gande Rosa, his three-pointer in and out, no good. Forkler the rebound, they reach in on him, but he keeps possession. He's trying to muscle it in and threw it away out of bounds. Aminu was not looking for the feed from him, and it went right by him and out of bounds and a turnover for the Ospreys. And with four fouls and 6.10 to play in the game, Ty Hudson checks back in for Jacksonville State. Maurice Dunlap going to get a rest here. Ty's got to be careful. He's been in foul trouble all day long. Jamal Gregory finds his way back down the floor for Jacksonville State as well. 6-10 and counting. Game Cox by eight. Here comes Hudson with the basketball. He'll go to the high post. Burnell back to the basket. Hands to Gregory coming around. He'll hit the Jets. Go all through the baseline to the corner to Hudson. Outside to Moreland. Shot fake. Didn't take it. What do we got? Three-second count on Jason Burnell. Third time today that the Gamecocks have been caught on a three-second violation. And the Ospreys get it back here. Jacksonville State. For the Gamecocks, their 10th turnover of the afternoon. Just two in the second half. They have six in the second half to the Ospreys. 14 turnovers on the day for them. And Jacksonville State has scored 16 points off of those turnovers. They look to go inside. Gregory had a steal and couldn't quite hang on to it on the entry feed. Knocked it away, couldn't quite hang on to it, and lost it out of bounds over the baseline. So they get it back. 5.42 to go, no change of possession. Shot clock is at 19 for them. Gamecocks will play one week from today. Fly back in tomorrow. We get in late from the trip tomorrow, then off until next Wednesday when they'll play their home opener in Cherokee County. Escobar misses again for three, no good. He's missed two in a row after hitting about five straight out there. Burnell rebounds the miss. JB, a bucket of any kind before the day's over, gives him a new career high. Burnell now 21 points, nine rebounds on the day. He's a board away from a double-double, would be his second of the year. Gregory finds Cunningham, head of the circle, hands to uh, Hunter, coming around top of the key. Marlin lost the handle. Ball's on the deck. They still battle for it. Aminu's got it, and will pitch it to Horkler. Tosses it ahead to Escobar. It's two on three. Escobar cross court to Sams. Shot fake and a drive. Had to shoot it over Cunningham and did. Christian went right at him and leaped. Ball high in the air and came off the window, and he banked it in. At five minutes to go, Jacksonville State by six. 71-65. Gamecocks by six here. Hudson gets it across the timeline. Comes behind the ball screen. He'll look down low, Burnell's got it. Nice spin in the lane, the hook short, no good. Rebounded by Escobar. He'll turn it on and get across the timeline in a hurry. Dish to Gandea Rosa, his shot, no good. He went inside, had an open look under the rim and missed it. Rebound to Burnell. JB now with a double-double, his second of the day, or second of the year, I should say. 21 and 10 for Burnell in this one. 71-65, JB and Cunningham both look winded right now. Hudson up top to Jamal Gregory. Looked right side, he'll go to Hunter. To the corner to Hudson. Shot fake, steps inside the defender. Jumper, good off the baseline drive at about 18 feet. Jacksonville stayed by eight, 73-65. Hudson's first points of the second half. He's got eight. Here they come, long pass to Sam's. Got it down, his shot long. Back iron, no good. Rebound, tipped up and outside, it's on the deck. Gondea Rosa keeps it alive for them and he calls timeout on the deck with 3.53 to play in the game. And that'll become the final stoppage of play for a media timeout in the afternoon. Timeout North Florida. Each team will have, what, one timeout remaining, I think, is what they've got left here. Each team's got one remaining. 3.53 to go. Jacksonville State 73, North Florida 65. Timeout, and then we come back for more of the Calhoun, or excuse me, from the Cancun Challenge, I should say. We're back for the final four minutes right after a timeout on the Gamecock Sports Network.
At almost a half court, Sams gets back out there to get it. Jackson will stay by eight with 345 left. Down low, they go to Aminu, trying to back it in on Cunningham. Got inside, put it up with a hook, got the kind bounce. Bounced in the back iron about three or four times and went in. So he scored four and a half. He's got 14 in the game, does Aminu. By the way, each team has two timeouts, a 30 and a 60 second timeout remaining. Hudson outside against pressure near half court, maintains the dribble, steps between a double team as they trapped him. He'll feed Hunter. Left side, Gregory back out to Hudson. Shot clock at 10. Two possession game, 3.20 to go. Burnell trying to get to position at the free throw line. He got undercut by Sams, and he has fouled out of the game with 3.17 to play. That'll be their sixth team foul. And for Sams, he's fouled out with 3.17 to go. The Martin, Tennessee native, Garrett Sams, leaves with five points, three rebounds, and one assist. And we'll see if it'll be Ryan Burkhart. It looks like that's who it was. Who's going to check in to replace him. Burkhart, been out there a couple of times today, sophomore from down in St. Augustine. So with 3.17 left, Sams will check out. With the five fouls, his day done. Burkhart does replace him. Just their sixth team foul, so no shooting here. Jacksonville State will inbound. Baseline left side. As Hudson to the left of the basket. Will trigger it inbounds here. Ty, he's got 10 in the game. He'll inbound to Gregory. Fakes a shot in the corner. Comes around the ball screen. Comes back outside. He'll feed it out to Hudson near half court. Gamecocks can get under three minutes here with a six-point lead. Hudson wanting to drive it, kicks it to Gregory. Gregory right back to Ty, open left side, three ball. In and out, no good. Rebound tipped up, off the mark. Hunter got a tip on it, wouldn't go down. Went in the hole and popped out. Here comes Gondea Rosa. Spins outside to Burkhart with it. Now to Gondea Rosa, 2.50 to play. He'll dribble and drive, got inside. Feed to Horkler in the paint, got it. They've cut it to four. 73-69, 2.45 to play in the game. Well, Hudson, his three-pointer wouldn't stay. And then the tip by Marlin wouldn't stay in the hole. Four-point game. Why is it never easy? 2.35 left. Up top, Jamal Gregory. Left side to Marlowe. Hunter dumps it down low to JB. Burnell against Horkler. Feeds it inside, and it's underneath. Who's got it? Hunter had it, lost it. It's on the deck. Burkhart out of there with it for the guys in blue. The Ospreys with a basketball. They didn't handle the pass underneath from Burnell. They turn it over. Here comes Burkhart with a pitch to Escobar. Trying to find a little opening. Gets the ball screen. Dribbles right. Bounce pass to Gondea Rosa. He'll spin. Got bumped by Jamal Gregory. Got him with a hip. Game cocks over the limit. One and one for Gondea Rosa with 2.04 to go in the game. The foul on Jamal Gregory will be his second personal foul. Gondea Rosa, first trip to the line today. He's 0 for 6 from the field overall. 0 from 4 at the three-point line. He's handed out five assists, which is his average on the year, and he also has four rebounds for them. This season, he's perfect. Seven of seven from the free throw line. Make it eight of eight. Now it's 73-70 with 2.04 to play. Jamal Gregory leaves. Dietrich Mostella checks in for Jacksonville State. Mostella's been on the bench for a while, but he's back out there. 2.04 left, 73-70. They can cut it to two. It was a 73-65 lead. It's down to two, a 6-0 run from the Ospreys here at 73-71. Jacksonville State scoreless over the last two minutes and six seconds. Just one of their last five from the field. Hudson to the high post, back to the basket. Burnell's got it. He'll hand to Ty, started toward the hole, but nothing was there, so he'll stay where he was. Got it somehow into JB. Pumps put it up, no good, but he got fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Will Burnell. See who drew the foul for them. It's on Burkhardt, his first, their seventh team foul. So we shoot free throws. Any shooting opportunity, free throw, any foul, it's a shooting opportunity. We'll see it here. Down the stretch, both teams with a minute 46 to go. Burnell free throw, it's good. JB's matched his career high of 22 points. He also has 10 rebounds. Second shot coming for Burnell to make it a true two-possession game, and he does. 75-71 with a minute 46 left. 23, a career high for Jason Burnell, along with 10 boards in this one. High post, Aminu back to the basket. Now as he got the ball, he'll face the hoop. He'll pitch it off to Gondea Rosa, left of the circle to Horkler. 
to Escobar. Won't to go baseline. Hunter closed the door, but he steps around him, put up a shot that Burnell swatted out of there. He stepped around. Hunter went underneath him, inside of Marlowe on the baseline. He used the left hand, and Burnell just swatted it out of there. Unfortunately, he swatted it into their bench across the way. 1.28 to play. 75-71. They lob it in across the floor, and Christian will let it go out of bounds. Good job, Cunningham. Threw it over Aminu's head and out of bounds and a turnover. Nobody touched it on the inbounds pass, so they go to go, got to go back over in front of the Ospreys bench to inbound it, and they're going to apply some pressure now. By the way, Maurice Dunlap has checked into the game. Maurice Dunlap is in for Jacksonville State. And Mostella has left the floor for the Gamecocks here. So you got Hudson, Dunlap, Hunter, Burnell, and Cunningham, Jacksonville State. They go to that double stack, our double high post stack. Jacksonville State does. Hudson will feed Burnell to the baseline to Marlin. Back out JB, up top tie. Shot clock at 10. Hudson dribbles, found a lane to the basket, lost the handle on the ball. It's on the floor. Hunter's got it with three. With two, he just has to launch it and tried to bank it, and it's off the mark. No good. He didn't realize the shot clock was as low as it was and just had to fire it up there to hit the glass, but nowhere near the iron. So an empty possession there for Jacksonville State. They get it back down four with 56.6 seconds to play. 56.6 to play in the game. Each team has a 30 and a 60-second timeout. Eight team fouls, Jacksonville State. They have seven, so we're still in the one-and-one one bonus on both sides. Gandea Rosa, Escobar, Horkler, Aminu, and Burkhart for them. They feed Escobar, jumper off the mark, no good. Rebound, knocked away. Escobar grabbed it in the corner, got it back, lost it. Hudson had it, lost it. And we got a scrum and a jump ball, and what do we got? If it's a jump ball, it belongs to Jacksonville State. It is. Gamecock basketball with 38 and a half seconds to play. Burnell and Escobar on the floor, Aminu on the floor, and Hudson on the floor. You tell me these guys don't want this? Just the fifth game of the year for Jacksonville State, just number six for them, and they're playing like it's the NCAA tournament here or something. Or playing to get to the NCAA tournament. Christian Cunningham checks out. End of the game is Derek St. Hilaire for Jacksonville State. They take Burkhardt out and bring Brian Coffey in to match up there. So the Gamecocks with Dunlap, St. Hilaire, Hudson, and Hunter, basically four guards for Jacksonville State with Burnell on the floor. And let's see, Horkler is still out there for them. Aminu's still out there with Gandea Rosa, Coffey, and Escobar. 38 and a half seconds to play, 75-71. Jacksonville State by four. Hudson looking to inbound it. Got it in to Derek St. Hilaire. They look to tie him up in the corner, and now a foul going to be called on Yvonne Gandea Rosa. That'll be their eighth foul. We go the other way with St. Hilaire to shoot a one and one. Derek had 15 yesterday for Jacksonville State. Has not scored today. 0 for 3 from the field. This season, he's 8 of 13 from the free throw line. Cunningham back in on the defensive end, and out of there is Maurice Dunlap for Jacksonville State. 35.7 seconds left. Derek St. Hilaire at the free throw line for the Gamecocks. Jacksonville State today, 13 of 17 from the free throw line. Four out of six in this second half. Free throw in the air, got it. Now he can make it a six-point lead. 35.7 seconds left. They have 12 threes on the day. Second shot, good again. He hit them both. Did Derek St. Hilaire. He'll leave. Jamal Gregory replaces him. Two huge free throws with a sophomore. A junior college transfer out of Gordon State Junior College down in Barnesville, Georgia. 77-71. Gamecocks by six. Here they come quickly to the offensive end. Escobar drives, kicks it out to Gandea Rosa. He'll drive, get inside, got it out to Escobar, a catch and a three-point try, and he drilled that one with Hudson running at him. Timeout, Matt Driscoll and the Ospreys. 77-74 with 24.7 seconds to play in a game. And a timeout here for the Ospreys. In the first half, North Florida was 9 of 17 at the three-point line. In this half, They've come back to earth a little bit, just four 
out of 15 at the three-point line, I believe is what they are in this half. But they've trimmed the lead to three, 77, 74, 24.7 seconds to play in the game. They are 5-0 and in games played here in Cancun in the Cancun Challenge. They've won this event twice. Gamecocks try to win it for the first time ever in their opening appearance in the Cancun Challenge. Burnell, Gregory, Hunter, St. Hilaire, and Hudson for Jacksonville State. Long pass. Gregory's got it by himself. Throwdown time, 79-74, 23.1 seconds to play. Here comes Escobar quickly to the offensive end. He's made seven hoops today, all of them threes. He'll launch another one off the mark, no good. Rebound and a foul against Jacksonville State. And if it's on Ty Hudson, he's fouled out of the game here with 14.1 seconds to go. I think it is on Ty Hudson. Hudson fouls out, trying to box out on the rebound. That'll be his fifth foul. Ty Hudson's fifth foul. He'll finish the day four of nine from the field, two out of five at the three-point line. Ten points, three rebounds, three assists, and one steal. And just about 19 minutes of play for Jacksonville State. So the lead is five, and they'll be at the line to shoot a one and one on the ninth foul of the half, Jacksonville State. Maurice Dunlap checks in in place of Ty Hudson. So Gregory. It plays underneath. Gregory and Burnell be the two guys under the basket on the free throw line for Jacksonville State. Hunter, Dunlap, and St. Hilaire out there as well for Jacksonville State. It's Aminu at the free throw line with a one and one. Wajid Aminu, free throw, got it. Young man out of Atlanta, two older brothers. One played at Georgia Tech, one played at Wake Forest, and Al Farouk Aminu. Playing in the NBA with the Portland Trailblazers, his older brother. He's got 15, five of those in this second half. 79, 75, he can make it a one possession game with a make. Shot it way short, no good. Gregory the rebound, and they'll foul him in the backcourt with 12.3 seconds to play in the game. They fouled Gregory in the backcourt, and that's their ninth foul of the half, I believe, and it's still one and one, though, for Jacksonville State. And the foul. Cunningham's going to check in, and St. Hilaire will leave. Ryan Burkhardt in for them, and Brian Coffey is out. Jamal Gregory today is 3 of 3 at the free throw line. So now he's 11 out of 16 on the year. He started the day just 8 of 13 at the line. 79-75, 80-75. Boy, that ball hit the back of the iron, went up, came down, and dropped in. Evidently, Escobar said something to him because Gregory's grinning, Escobar's grinning too. 80-75. Second shot, good again for Jamal. So it's back to a true two-possession game. 81-75, 12.3 seconds left. Here comes Gandea Rosa across. He'll stop and shoot a three himself off the mark. No good. Horkler the rebound out to Escobar for another triple, and he got another one. His ninth tray of the day. It's 81-78 with 2.6 seconds to go. Escobar's career high, 28 points. He's got 24 in this one against Jacksonville State. That's just eight threes. I thought that was his ninth. My apologies. So he's eight three-pointers on the day. All but one of his field goal attempts has been outside the arc. One time has he taken a two-point field goal attempt. He's eight out of 15 for the day, eight of 14 at the three-point line. 81-78, 2.6 seconds left. They are out of timeouts. They cannot stop it again. Jacksonville State still has a couple of timeouts remaining here. Does Ray Harper. In case of a jump ball, the possession arrow would give it to them. And if they foul off the inbounds, it'll be two shots for Jacksonville State because both teams are at nine team fouls here. They broke Gregory free the last time. Now well, let's see if they try to make that work again. See how they're defended as they come out here for this. Final possession we hope for the game here in regulation. Gamecocks will put Gregory, Hunter, and Dunlap all at half court. Derek St. Hilaire will be guarded by Brian Coffey right at the three-point line. And now, well, Coffey comes to the free throw line. 
Here comes Hunter trying to come get the, the pass. Inbounds pass will come to Dunlap, and we got a foul called on Gondea Rosa. Or no, they call Escobar with a foul with 1.7 seconds to play in the game. 1.7 seconds left. Dunlap at the line. Maurice will shoot two here. Maurice on the year is 0 for 2. At the, well, he started the day 0 for 2 this season at the line. He's 2 out of 2 in this game. 1.7 seconds to go. It's 81-78. Dunlap, the senior, first shot in the air, 82-78. And now timeout, Jacksonville State. Cunningham will check in. Derek St. Hilaire will check out. Jason Burnell, a career-high 23 in this one. Jamal Gregory had 15 off the bench yesterday. He's got 16 today. Marlon Hunter's added 13. Ty Hudson, 10. Christian Cunningham, 9. Burnell, by the way, a double-double with 23 points, 10 boards. Cunningham, 9 points and 8 rebounds for Jacksonville State. Gamecocks have outboarded them now, 34-33. Escobar leads them with 24, 15 on the day for Wajid Aminu. And then Noah Horkler's got 14. And Trip Day off the bench with 10 in this one. Jacksonville State trying to get to two and three with Carver College, a non-division one opponent, waiting next week. Next Wednesday in the home opener up at the Cherokee Arena. Dunlap hit them both, 83-78. Gamecocks by five. Horkler will inbound it to Gondea Rosa, and they'll just dribble it out. Matt Driscoll and... Ray Harper hug each other on the far side of the court over there. Terrific basketball game today. This has been a dandy, folks. 83-78, the final. Jacksonville State, the champs of the Cancun Challenge here at the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. What terrific game here. Jacksonville State goes to 2-3 and three on the year. They'll drop North Florida to 2-4 and four on the campaign. Jacksonville State by five as they win this one. And a terrific outing. Back-to-back -back days here. Boy. A whole lot of improvement from those first three outings on the year for Ray Harper and his bunch. Stay with us. Mike Douglas, State Farm Insurance Gamecock Locker Room Show will follow. We'll chat with Coach Harper, run down all the numbers. The all-tournament team going to be announced here in a few moments as well. All that follows. We come back. 83-78, the final. Jacksonville State wins it. This is the Gamecock Sports Network. <laughs> 